Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more content like this. I'm super excited to share today's recipe with you guys. I grew up in southern Arizona, so Mexican food is near and dear to my heart. It's something I've grown up eating and that I adore, but I refuse to give up my favorites even though I'm vegan. Now today we're going to make this recipe whole food, plant-based, and oil-free. And I'm going to show you some different options so that you can make this comfortable for you and your family and your dietary needs. So today I'm going to make my vegan pozole. Now, I know my Hispanic family is going to cringe a little bit when they see this recipe because I have had to make some adjustments to really bring that flavor so that I could get it to be as authentic as possible without the pork. So I did some recipe testing this week and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the recipe. So I want to talk replacements for meat in this recipe. I'm going to use pinto beans today and I'm going to rinse and drain those before adding them into my recipe. But another option is soy curls. Now if you're familiar with these you're going to want to make sure you rehydrate them in some broth. You can use water but I just feel like Rehydrating them in broth really brings the flavor and then you want to make sure that you squeeze them and drain them completely and get all the moisture out of them and then you're going to dry cook them in your pan just to kind of dry them out a little more so that when you add them to your soup they'll absorb all that flavor. And then another option would be jackfruit. Now the jackfruit you would just rinse and drain it and you're going to want to add it in at the same time that I add the pinto beans, but it is really another great option. So let's talk vegan broths. Today we're going to use the organic reduced sodium better than bouillon because as you see here in the ingredients, it is oil free, but you do want to make sure that you do pick the organic one. And then I'm also going to use a vegan chicken bouillon, and you also want to check the ingredients for that. Trader Joe's does have one that's oil-free, but some other ones are not. You can find these online on Amazon or at your local oriental market. Now this recipe is a little higher in sodium, but it really is the determining factor in bringing the flavor. Now let's talk about our Wajio chilies. These are going to vary in size depending on the brand that you purchase. Mine were a little smaller, so I'm going to use about 12 chilies. But if yours are larger, you can use about 10. Then you're going to want to take the stems off of these and take the seeds out in order to prep your chilies for this recipe. You can find these chilies in your Hispanic section in the store or your market. You can also find these online. If you do have trouble finding them, you can go ahead and send me a message on Instagram and I'd be happy to send you a link. Now we're just going to start cooking our recipe in the Instant Pot, but you could do this on the stovetop as well. I just like to make things easy and simple over here. As you can tell from my previous recipes, I like little cleanup, simple, quick, easy recipes. So we're going to add our hominy right into the pot. And then I'm going to add those Wajio chilies. Just make sure you deseed them. And then we're going to put about four bay leaves right in. And then we're going to add our seasonings. I'm going to add some cumin and then my favorite chipotle chili pepper powder. Then we're going to add that vegan chicken bouillon powder. Now, if you don't want to use this because you're watching your sodium and you just want to stick to the vegetable bouillon base that I'm adding now, you can totally do that. I just found when testing this recipe, the flavors came out way better when I added the bouillon powder as well as the base. Then we're just going to add an entire clove of garlic and then one entire onion and then our water. Now that I got my lid on correctly, we're going to make sure that our pot is sealed and we are going to set it at high pressure for five minutes. Then you're going to allow it to naturally release for about five to six minutes. 
Then I hit the cancel button and I release the pressure from my Instant Pot. Now that our pressure is released, we're gonna go ahead and remove our lid, nice and steamy. And then we are gonna add the onions, the garlic bulb, and the chilies right into our blender. I'm using a high-speed blender. If you don't have one, that's totally fine, but you are going to need to strain your sauce if you don't. So I'm just gonna add the onions, the chilies, and the garlic right in here along with some of the broth. And then we are gonna blend it up until it's completely emulsified. So now that I've finished blending my sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add this right back into my pot. Now remember, if you don't have a high speed blender, you're gonna to wanna to strain this before adding it back into your pot. So now we're gonna add our rinsed and drained pinto beans, and then we're gonna add some Mexican oregano. Now this is not like regular oregano, so you wanna make sure that you get the Mexican oregano, you can find it just like the Guajillo chilies in the Hispanic section of your store or at a specialty market or online. So you're gonna wanna break this up with your fingers and that kinda helps release the oils and stuff as well as break it down before you add it into the pot. So now that we have all our ingredients added into the pot, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a quick little mix and then it's time to put our lid back on and we're gonna set this at high pressure for two minutes and then we're gonna allow it to naturally release for 10 minutes and then after the 10 minutes is up, I always cancel and then I go ahead and I release the pressure from my pot So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the lid from our pot and then we're gonna make sure we remove each and every one of those bay leaves before we're ready to serve up our soup. And here's our first look at our vegan pozole. I just love the way this turned out. I can literally smell and taste it in my mouth just looking at this footage for a playback. It's absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and talk about toppings. So traditionally people use radish, and shredded cabbage, cilantro, and limes, but you could also add onion to it, but my family's tummies don't agree with raw onions, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that out today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top my bowl with some of the toppings, just so that you guys can kinda get an idea of what it's supposed to look like and how you're supposed to eat it, because I know this is going to be a new soup for some of you and maybe you've never tried it or even heard of it before and that's it for this one guys i really hope you enjoy this recipe and if you give it a try i'd love for you to tag me on instagram or facebook and let me know how you like it and we'll see you in the next video guys bye